as promised by the INC Karnataka Indian National Congress, our leader of the CLP, our PCC president, and all other senior leaders. The Congress party was the first one to release its first list of 124 candidates for the ensuing Karnataka Assembly elections, much before the Code of Conduct. I am happy to again remind you that our choice was unanimous without any differences. The Screening Committee and the Central Election Committee met again today. We have again decided on a number of seats which you will know once we release the seats by late today. And again unanimously, the Screening Committee and the Central Election Committee has decided a further list of candidates. The 40% Commission BJP Sarkara in Karnataka has floundered and failed. The double engine Sarkara, the so called double engine Sarkara is double Droha for Karnataka. It's a double betrayal for Karnataka. Modi government betrays Karnataka on one hand and Bombay government brazenly loots Karnataka on the other hand. The way in which BJP leaders are leaving BJP in Karnataka by hordes over about 10 MLCs and MLAs of BJP have already left Bharatiya Janta Party expressing no confidence in Bombay government. In fact, as we speak now, a senior most BJP leader along with other senior leaders of the BJP are doing or observing price chip divas in Mysuru on Gandhi statue for having elected a BJP government. It's a sinking ship which is on nose dive. Neither Prime Minister Modi nor the corrupt Bombay government can save it. Congress party has given a positive agenda under the leadership of Shri Siddharamaya and Shri D.K. Shivkumar and other senior Congress leaders. The four Congress guarantees, Grey Lakshmi scheme, 2,000 rupees to every woman, uh, head of every household every month to fight inflation. Grey Jyoti scheme, 200 units of electricity free every month to every house. The Anna Bhagya scheme, for our BPL family, brothers and sisters, 10 kgs of rice free every month. And Yuva Nidhi, a unique scheme unveiled by Rahul Ji, whereby every graduate of Karnataka, for two years after graduation, if he or she is unemployed between 18 to 25 years of age, will get 3,000 rupees and every diploma holder will get 1,500 rupees every month for a period of two years. All these schemes itself amount to transfer of 80,000 rupees every year to every family of Karnataka. This is the Nyay concept conceived by Shri Rahul Gandhi in the year 2019 that under the leadership of our PCC president and our CLP leader we are seeking to implement. I also lastly want to say before I call upon my CLP leader and PCC president, a section of BJP is jittery. They are running scared and helter skelter. They are seeking to plant fake and false stories through a section of news media outlets. We reject them in toto. They are sometimes misinterpreting the interview given to them by Shri Siddharamaya, sometimes trying to misinterpret the words of our PCC president. Sometimes they are leveling guns at Dr. Parmeshwar or MB Patel. Sometimes they lever their guns at me. But the Kannada media friends who meet us every day, they know that the Congress party is completely united. It is BJP 
which is failing to now, which is now not recognizing even Basavaraj Bombay. His pictures have disappeared. They are insulting Mr. Yadurappa on a daily basis. And there is complete chaos in BJP. There is complete unity, unanimity, as also a commitment to uh, rebuild brand Karnataka. And on the other side, there is corruption, there is commission, and there is chaos and confusion. That's the difference.